Hello, this is your warm up for Monday, May 11th. We're gonna start out with one round, 30 seconds each movement, heart rate spike. First off, jumping jacks. Standard jacks, touch above the head, touch behind your back for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna go straight into inchworms. Legs straight, reach down for the ground, nice stretch in your hamstrings. Walk all the way out to that plank with the shoulders right over the wrist. Good, squeezing the butt and then walk all the way back in. So you'll repeat that. You don't need to do a push up if you can't reach the floor. Without bending your legs, just open your legs a little bit wider so you can. We're looking for that big hamstring stretch here. After your inchworms, we're gonna go down into mountain climbers. So plank position. You're running your knees in between your elbows. If you can, try not, there we go, try not to let that inside foot touch the ground. Keep your butt down instead of up in the air, shoulders right over the wrist. If you need to, you can pause with that foot on the ground um, every time you run them in. From there, we have touch down jacks. Touch between the feet, jump the legs together, and back down. Good, 30 seconds of touch down jacks. After that, we have plank ups. So you're gonna go elbow, elbow, hand, hand, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. So nice plank position here. As always, squeezing that butt, replace your hand with your elbow, and then come back up, replacing the elbow with the hand. The key here is not to let your hands get too far out in front of you. You wanna make sure that you're putting your hand directly underneath that shoulder. That's what makes it kind of hard. If your feet are wider, this is a little bit easier because it gives you more stability. Feet are together will make it more challenging. So you get to pick what you wanna do. After that, we have penguin hops. So just prepping us for our double unders. Jump up, tap the thighs twice while you are in the air. Really great work to, really great to practice your rhythm uh, for double unders. After our penguin hops, we have reverse lunges. Just step back, back knee gently touches the ground and then you'll step your feet back together. Okay, you're really trying to push off of that front leg as you bring the feet together. Feeling this in the booty. And then finally, burpees, everyone's favorite. Standard burpee, chest all the way down to the ground, snap those feet in, jump and celebrate at the top. Notice how when she jumps the feet in, she's getting those feet nice and flat. Thank you, Ben. All right, for the second part of your warm up, I'm gonna show you this one. So you have one round, we're gonna start with our 90-90, our little hip prep, because you do have some stuff with your hips today. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember what they're doing. So 90-90, keep your feet planted. Option one, hands can be behind you, and you're just switching back and forth, internal rotation, external. You'll notice this leg's a lot tighter. One leg might feel tighter than the other, good to pay attention to that. After I do that 10 times, other option, by the way, is no hands, okay? 10 of those, back and forth, so five each side. And then I'm gonna go into my eyes. So down on the ground, arms out in front, squeeze the abs, squeeze the butt. I'm gonna lift up and back down, up and back down. Okay, so this movement is not me lifting up like this. I'm gonna keep my torso still and I'm just lifting through the arms. After that, I have 90-90 with adding that hip pop. So from here, 90-90 switch, up, squeeze. Back down, 90-90 switch, up, squeeze. As you lower down, try not to just fall. Sit down with control. If you can't, again, you can use your hands to help you with this. After I do 10 of those, I'm gonna go back to my face down position. This time, arms are wide, I'm in my Y. Up, back down. Up, back down. Squeezing those shoulder blades together every time I lift up. Finally, I have my 90-90 with the hip lift. And then I'm gonna add, like let me move some of my knees on the mat and that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Make sure you're on kind of a soft surface for this. So 90-90 switch, hip lift. Bring the back leg around, lunge. Back leg comes all the way back to where it was. Sit down, switch, lift, lunge. Back down, sit, go, okay. One more time, switch, lift, lunge. Back around, 
sit. So make sure you're putting that leg back in the same spot every single time. And then finally we have W's. So we're gonna make a W with our arm pulling those elbows down. We're gonna go face down, like W, pull up, back down, pull up, back down 10 times. Remember, every time you lift up, you're gonna squeeze and hold that for a second and then lower down with control. We're trying to get strong in these end range positions. That's gonna help you with your pull-ups for those of you who are looking to get better at those. All right, see you in the next video.